Uh, what we've got is our floor jack. We've got a, a transmission stand uh, on top of the floor jack. It's up underneath the differential. We've put pressure on the differential to raise it up a little bit. We took the bolts off on both sides. Now we're going to let it, let it down and work it out of the car or out from underneath the car very gently. We'll drop it down on the floor and uh, take the cover off here. Uh, next thing we'll do is take out these uh, four bolts here to take the cross member out. Set that to the side, then take off the uh, covers bolts here and drain it and get it ready for shipment. This is the uh, 411 differential that we took out of the 63 Corvette. Uh, it's the original differential. See how old and grungy it's it's in there with the setup fluids etc. This differential has never been apart and this is what an original one will look like. Uh, we're going to go and put a uh, later model 308 in, in, in the car for the customer. Uh, what we've d done is pulled out the stub axles and to pull out the stub axles uh, there's a snap ring here. You have to reach inside here, deep inside here with your snap ring. Take your snap ring just take your snap ring off the end of the stub axle and pull the stub axle out. A lot of times these are worn and you can't get them out. The tips are worn off. The dimension on here on that from the end of the end of the ring to the tip is 186 thousandths. Okay. So anyway, we've taken these out. We've cleaned the bearing journals. We've put new dust shields on them. They've been sandblasted and painted, etc. They're ready to go back in the new one. Okay, we've taken test fit this uh, stub axle beforehand. Uh, we took a little bit off the face here. We want about a ten thousandths play on this stub axle up against the center pin. Right here, we want about ten thousandths play. So we've, we've already done that. We've taken some off this stub axle. Uh, we're going to put the stub axle in. Uh, what we do is taking, uh, that's a little bit too much, we'll take and put a little grease around the journal here. We're going to take and slide it in. It's in. We're going to take and reach down in here with our snap ring. Put it on. It snapped right in. Okay. You've got to take and uh, spin the differential. And it's probably hard to see down in there, but we want to make sure that that uh, snap ring is on the sub axle on this side also. Okay, we've done that. And we're spinning it around, and we've got a feeler gauge here. Uh, we've already done this side, so we're just going back over it. Uh, we want about eight to ten thousandths play between the stub axle and that center pin, which we've got. Uh, it's, a, it's a nice stub fit with eight thousandths shim. So when you pull on this stub axle, there's about eight or ten thousandths play on it. Okay, we're going to do the same thing on this side. This has been cleaned, etc. Put a little bit of grease on it. There's some on the needle bearings in there already. Put, put a little bit more on. Slide it in. I'm going to take our snap ring. And my big hand's going to be in the way here. I'm going to take and put this one on. And that one snapped right in. And again, we're going to take and Check the end play. We've got about eight to ten thousand end play on this this one also. Okay, and we can set that for you here in the shop. That's why we prefer when you set a differential in. We can check the stub axles and get it set up with how the posi has been rebuilt. Next thing we're gonna do is, is taking clean this uh, flange here with some brake clean. Clean it off pretty good. We don't get it all off, any grease or something like that off here, it, uh, the gasket won't seal properly. Uh, we use Pervitex number two for the sealing areas around here. Uh, I've got some right here in my hand. 
All we're going to do is take and smear this around here, around each hole, run it down here, etc. Okay, we we spread smeared some uh, Permatex number two around the flange. We'll go ahead and set our gasket on here. Get in in alignment. Okay, we smeared our Permatex number two all the way around the gasket. Uh, we're going to put the cover on next. Uh, we like to use some alignment dowels when we set that uh, cover down on here. We stick one on either end. Take and uh, pick up the cover here. We're actually putting on a, on a heavy duty cover. I'll make sure this is clean also. Take the slippery clean and clean it off. And it'll be ready to go on. I got that on there. Then we can just go ahead and put our uh, studs in, put them in all the way around, etc. Uh, torque them down to uh, 60 foot pounds. All the all the studs. Take out our alignment dowel. Stud in there. Uh, we've already taken and tapped in a, uh, a breather for the differential. Uh, if there's any seepage sticking out along the edge, take and clean it off so it looks professional, etc. And we're done. The unit's ready to go back in the car. Uh, we've got our differential all buttoned up here, ready to go back in the car. Uh, as far as putting this back together. Uh, it's basically just a reverse procedure of, of how we took it out. There's no need to go back through and show, show that part of it as putting it back in. There are a few points to be made though. Uh, when you do put your spring bolts in, uh, which go back here, the four bolts, uh, tighten them up just so they're snug. You get the spring in there. Uh, don't tighten them up to the 80 foot pounds until the full weight of the car is on the ground. This is a heavy duty cover. In, Probably won't snap, but on a stock cover, these ears have a tendency to break. Uh, watch your U-joint caps. Uh, I would change the uh, front bushing cushion mount on the differential. That's on the front bracket here. I would go ahead and change that. And also go through, if it's a good opportunity at this time, to go through your drive shaft and your half shaft U-joints and change them out if it's needed. Well I hope you've enjoyed uh, our video here on Corvette differentials, how to take them out and put them back in for C2s and C3 Corvettes. Uh, there are six other videos on our website and like I say I hope you've learned something. Check us out at vtechcorvette.com.